I'm going to talk about all my favorite planters and where I got them. There's a common chase between having enough pots and then enough plants. If you get rid of some, you're going to have more pots, but then if your plant grows, you might have to increase in size. So there's this constant cycle. The planter is really important to me because it's home decor. I want all of my planters to be kind of cohesive. That might not be everyone's goal. That's just what I do just to make sure they go well together in my home. None of the stuff behind me is mine. So it's not a great example of how I normally decorate. I do have some clips of when I went to TJ Maxx which is one of my favorite places to get cute planters. I'm going to insert that right now. Oh, I, oh, like that. I have that one. How much did I buy this one for? I remember paying $14.99 for that one. I love this one. This one is so adorable. It, this one is $9.99. It goes really well with my decor. I don't like things that have the plant. On. Yeah, because then there's already a plant in it. I don't like those colors. I like that one. Yeah, that is, I like that one. I like one. the color. So much here. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, I, mean. I really like this one. This one is $14.99 and it's huge. Well, maybe because it's wobbly. And then that one is $9.99. There's this hanging one. It's blue though. I don't have any blue stuff, so. That one's not bad. I don't like it as much though. At one point, I found three of these and I was thinking about it for the wall. Yeah. That's a random size and then the nursery pot I would stick in there wouldn't fit. It's just an awkward size. What's this one? No. Back to what I was looking at. So I really like this one. I think I'm going to get this one and then... Wait. Hmm. Kind of looks like a snowflake. I don't like it up close actually. Oh, they have more. These look like little shoes. <laughs> Wait, I think I could fit it. <laughs> they do. If it's only $14.99 and it's cute, I want to see. It would be in the back. <laughs> I don't know. Why it's... is it so wobbly? The center beam is higher. It is? So it's sitting on this and it's wobbling. So it's How much is the little one? This is $9.99, I think. A little pricey, but it comes it, with the wood thing, yeah. so I think it. I normally wouldn't pay nine ninety nine for something that's small, but they're kind of matchy and they're yeah. cute and they go with your color tones. Okay, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna start off with those two planters that I got. Here is one of them, and this pot was nine ninety nine at TJ Maxx, and it is just so cute. If you look at the detailing here, my common theme is either white terracotta or anything that has the more natural woods anything along those lines I'm all about it that's what I tr usually try to stick with it's also a way for me not to buy every single planter out there I usually do not go out and buy planters unless I do need them but there will be a future plant going into this that I've been on a wait list for so I think it'll just look really cute in this kind of planter yeah the bottom is just this light wood color and so here is the other planter this is the one that has I don't know it's a similar design I think it's by the same company but this piece is supposed to be attached to it just like the other one is that I just showed you it is a little bit wobbly but I will be able to fix that just with some hot glue I think I said that the cost of this was supposed to be around $14 I got $2 off it's a really easy fix and that's why I went ahead and got it normally if something's broken I won't actually buy it unless I can fix it easily so I'm just gonna set that right there I'm basically starting with everything that is from TJ Maxx they tend to have the cutest pots in my opinion at least what goes with my decor and my style I do like to go to a lot of places like Ross TJ Maxx home goods and they're all pretty similar but I always have the best luck at TJ Maxx this one is another one at TJ Maxx and it's just so adorable it has this terracotta etching on it and I just love the shape of it this one's a smaller one but there was a large one that I kind of regret not buying at the time and when I went back it was gone I went to living spaces one time and they actually had this there too I like going to these kind of places because it's kind of like thrifting 
but not. It's not like a normal place like Target where they'll have a billion in stock. You'll just get lucky some days and find a bunch of cute stuff and other times they'll go and I just won't find anything at all. Here is another one of my favorites. This pot is again from TJ Maxx. Isn't this adorable? Again with the terracotta etching. It's so pretty. I want to say I've never spent more than $20 on a pot before and it, that depends by size. If it's a large pot then I will spend more on it and it, obviously if it's a smaller one then I have my limits with that. This is from TJ Maxx as well. I like the color a lot. It's textured. There's a couple weird streaks here that I don't really mind but I do like the pot a lot. This is a smaller one and usually with the smaller ones i don't spend more than a few bucks on it probably like five to eight dollars usually here is another one like with that same theme i think it's the same company for all three of these again from tj maxx yeah it's like this honeycomb texture this one's kind of a more medium color wood i think when we finally move into our new place i am gonna have all three of these pots near each other because they are similar but different i don't think i have any repeats of the same pots unless it came in a set they all have the wood bottom and then the design on the pot is actually a little bit different for each of them so i like that about them i want to say that was it with tj maxx so i'll move on to home goods i believe i got it from home goods if i said if it's from anywhere else in the story i apologize this was on clearance for 3.99 or 4.99 this light pink color is so cute i don't like having too much pink pink is adorable but i actually got it really because i like this wicker or rattan detailing on it really drawn to things that are rattan wicker light woods so that's actually why i got it one leaf little dude in there i am not focusing on the plants at all in this if you want to know about each of the plants that i have in the pots i have a houseplant collection i'm on home goods right yeah home goods whoa this one has grown a ton. I didn't really realize. Anyways, this I wouldn't say is a favorite from Home Goods, but it is just an idea. If you were trying to look for cheaper planters, this is a pretty big size. I want to say this is at least 8 inch in diameter. And this is actually a mixing bowl. And I believe the cost of this was like 5 bucks. So if you actually get a planter that is this big, it's going to cost more. And it's a cute marble one. So if you choose the right plant for it, one that's going to cover the little spout, then it won't be as obvious. Yeah, just an idea. Now moving on to Ross. I believe I only have one planter from Ross. It's a larger one. I mean, I wouldn't say it's one of my top favorites. I do like the detailing on it and the color is just neutral. It just matches the rest of my decor. This one's a large one and I believe I got it for like 10 bucks. So it tends to be cheaper, but I feel like it's harder to find cute stuff in there. And then the bottom has this little feet on it as well. So this was a good price for the size. I'll talk about the two that I have thrifted this was probably two dollars from a thrift store again it's just a neutral color i do like that it was only two dollars it's kind of hard to find some planters at a thrift store because i've had some luck i have my favorite one of my favorites from a thrift store that i'm going to show you in a second but i have gone back and gotten some more from a thrift store and then one of them started breaking down so just be really careful about the stuff you get from a thrift store I guess. This Monstera pod is one of my favorites and it's from a thrift store. I believe I got this for a couple of bucks too but it used to be this dark green color which I don't prefer. I spray painted it white. A trick for the thrift store is just if you like the texture or design of something try to figure out if you can DIY it. So now it's one of my favorite planters because you can see the Monstera on here is just so cute. So much detailing. And I like how it's white now because it's more minimal and it makes the plant stand out. This one is just from Ikea and I think it's really cute. I do like the minimal design on it and this was only about like five or six dollars maybe. Ikea is a great place to find cheap pots and they're good quality. They actually have a ton of options so I do like this one a lot. They have a smaller pink one of this and that one's really cute if you like pink. Next I'll talk about the pots that I have on my wire grid. It's really helpful if you want to make your own wire grid because of the ridge and it was really important to have the ridge otherwise it won't be held by the wire and I do have a video on how exactly I did that and I'll link that at the top as well so I'm not gonna bring it over here because then it might just tip over it's supposed to be on a wall but I have it leaning against something right now the gray ones they look like they're concrete but it's actually made out of plastic another helpful thing if you're trying to hang it up because it's not gonna be heavy and then the ones at the top are I believe made out of enamel or metal something like that but they're really sturdy ones 
plants and it's perfect for semi hydroponics which all of these plants are in semi hydro if i need a 12 inch planter or a larger i will go with a basket instead because again i like that look and also it's way cheaper if you get a basket versus buying a pot that size another benefit of that is if for some reason you get rid of that plant or you need to move up in size you can use a basket for other things this one that i put on the screen i got this one from ikea it was probably around 12.99 next for the more miscellaneous places this really plain white one and it has no drainage holes most of these had no drainage holes by the way because I do grow my stuff in Lekka. This was only 99 cents from the 99 cent store. So another good place, by the way, is Daiso. Daiso sometimes has really cute pots and they're cheap. Other miscellaneous places, this is a crazy plant guy pot. You can find these on Amazon, but I got this from Sharina's giveaway a while back. It comes in a set of three and I love how minimal it is. It's just white and it has a bamboo saucer at the bottom. It's just so cute. Again, with the light woods, I will link it down below in the description. For these other stores, obviously I'm not gonna be able to link them all down below. This does not exactly fit the string of hearts, which has been growing like a weed, but this cute little pot is from Walmart. It's just white and has a flower design all over it and it's ceramic. It does have a drainage hole at the bottom as well. And I really have to untangle this guy because this is a little ridiculous. It's all tangled up in itself, but that's for another day. If at any point I sound like I'm out of breath in this, it's because I'm running around and getting planters as I talk about them because I am kind of in this really small space and I can't put all of the plants I'm talking about around me. Anyways, this right here is just a cute basket planter. It doesn't have a drainage hole at the bottom because I use it for semi-hydro and it, it did not come with this. It was just cute and cheap. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oh.